Blockers, directed by Kay Cannon, follows three parents and their daughters who are all preparing for their prom night. The three teenage girls make a sex pact and all plan to lose their virginity by the end of prom night. But the parents get wind of this pact and decide that they need to block their daughters from fulfilling it. As the daughters attempt to enjoy their prom and withhold their end of the pact, the parents believe they need to protect their kids, which leads to their attempts to block them all night. Well, honestly, I'm sad to say that I found Blockers to be a major disappointment. I really enjoyed the trailers. I thought the trailers looked pretty funny. I thought they were just well made overall, but I thought that it looked familiar yet new at the same time. And that's kind of what I liked about it. And this was definitely a movie that I was looking forward to, to say the least. It was one of my more anticipated films coming out recently. And sadly, I just walked out of the theater very disappointed, but for a multitude of different reasons. But the biggest reason by far has to be that the movie just isn't very funny at all. I was in a theater that had a moderate amount of people in it, I'd say, and I very rarely heard anyone laughing. There were mild chuckles at best, fairly consistently, but not that often, honestly. And for a film that was marketed pretty heavily as a raunchy comedy, it turns out to be only one of those things. Sometimes when you watch a trailer for a comedy film, you end up just being shown the funniest moments of the film, sort of like a highlight reel, if you will. And the rest of it just never quite lives up to those key funny moments that you saw in the trailer. That's what Blockers is, honestly. Because there's a few funny scenes that are funny primarily just because of how ridiculous the scenarios are, and that's kind of the point of the film, I get that. But that's honestly about it in terms of the overall comedic output of the movie. Because the rest of the movie is just littered with jokes that don't land and just aren't written very well. I mean, I definitely felt like all these actors were really overcompensating and trying to overcome a poor script here. A script that does none of the actors any favors, honestly, because they can really only do so much with material that's just not funny and lacks creativity. Ike Barinholtz, Leslie Mann, and John Cena all have their moments and they do their best, but it just doesn't work overall. And it's honestly not even a big deal to me that their characters are fairly uninspired and kind of generic because if they were funny, I think most audience members, including myself, could look past that because it's a raunchy comedy. It's supposed to be over the top and funny and silly and not super thoughtful with great characters or anything. But the problem here is that these characters aren't that funny, at least not very often. And when you combine that uninspired, generic character development and growth with jokes that just don't land overall, you got a bad recipe. Catherine Newton, Gideon Alden, and Geraldine Viswathian play the teenage girls here, and I think they all do a nice job overall. I think these characters and performances actually do work because the chemistry is there, and they're not really asked to be overly funny too often. They're not very funny either as characters, but they try less or they fail less. So that's, I guess, a positive in some way. But these three are really sort of there to fill in the coming of age elements of the story. So whenever they're on screen, the story is more focused with detailing their growth as young kids that are trying to take the next step in their maturity. They do it, you know, in a sort of comedic way to get that, you know, comedic raunchy vibe across. This part of the story does work, but it's not like these three characters aren't written to the comedy aspects. They are, and their parts don't really work in that area either. But Blockers is really designed as a whole to be the same story that we've seen a lot of, but just with the genders reversed. It takes the story of high school kids looking to lose their virginity on prom night, but instead of the audience sort of celebrating it for the male kids or male characters, they watch the female characters be blocked by their parents in order to protect them. I'm fine with that premise. If you can shake up the formula and say something relevant and interesting all the while being funny, I'm good with that. The problem though lies in the fact that one, like I mentioned, the movie is for the most part very unfunny, and two, some of the subtle messaging is not so subtle. I actually looked at the Rotten Tomatoes score and Blocker sits at an 82% among critics and a 56% among audience members, at least at the time of me recording this video. And a disparity like this is usually concerning. Not always, but it usually is for me. Because whenever there's this big a divide between critics and audience members, it gives me pause and makes me a little bit concerned. And it's honestly really difficult to say why a divide like this would exist, especially for a film like Blockers, but it could possibly be because critics and audience members may be looking for different things here. I'd say that more than likely general audiences are looking for a hilarious and ridiculous comedy experience, and sadly Blockers doesn't deliver on that front. The critics on the other hand are probably looking for something a little more insightful and groundbreaking, which Blockers is in a way. There's probably fundamental differences between what different audiences are expecting out of this film, and your expectation going in will probably influence your eventual opinion on it. Because I like the premise, I like to see how we interpret these high school girls losing their virginity and maturing and growing up, and our parents and others feel the need to protect and save them. But with guys, we celebrate them and cheer them on in a way. That's an interesting topic and an interesting issue to address, and Blockers actually does so solidly overall. Some of it is a little heavy-handed and lacks subtlety, like I mentioned, but overall, I would say that it works. Sadly, the comedy, which is the primary focus and the reason that most people are in the seats in the theater, is very poorly written and ultimately not well executed and it just disappoints, which is a major, major problem. So if you're looking for a formula you've seen many times before, or just altered just enough to change the focus of the story, then this could be the movie for you. And I'd say it's coming of age aspects work fairly well overall, and the heartwarming moments are actually the strength of the film, 
because there's definitely some touching scenes that actually hit me in the feels and I really can't overlook that honestly because the emotion overall works but sadly, the primary focus of the film, the comedy, just doesn't. As for the pros and cons, I thought Blockers had very nice chemistry between its three high school co-leads and some nice coming of age slash heartwarming aspects. As for the cons, I thought the movie was just very unfunny, the writing is pretty poor, some messaging lacks subtlety, and the adult performances just aren't there honestly. Overall, I'm going to give Blockers a 4.5 out of 10 and recommend you pass in this one in theaters. If you're interested in seeing it, I'd wait for the ability to stream it or something down the line. So did you guys see Blockers yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite comedy film of 2017. Either way, this is Wolf Oxification signing off. See you in the next review.